So nenda kamwambie Jalango nimesema kasipul ya kwamba yeye na wenzake nilipata na watch nudes fact same kasipul kasipul ni mbaya what are of course it's your girl Jackie Diva na mia 2 TIV na tuko hapa na Vicky Vikina guys nimetafuta tena kasipul zandani Zandane, zandane mungu ni mkuu mungu apewe sifa siku zote mm -hmm. nimefurahia sana kukuona jaki mm -hmm. mungu ni mkuu tu tunasema yote tano tisa mm -hmm. mungu ni mwema mm -hmm. mm. incoming governor yes his excellency incoming governor mm -hmm. ukipena niite mzee wa mtuningi uh -huh. ukipena niite governor ukipena niite cha rais uh -huh. ukipena niite zandane shere Uh, tumeona pale juzi kena alitengeneza show moto sana moto kama pasi lakini haukuwa pale maybe umepata kusikia ilikuwaje unajua kiwango ambao mimi nimefika ni ya kwamba siwezi kuenda ku get crash mimi ni mtu mzima na kama sikupata mwaliko mbona niende ni get crash but yote tano tisa tunajaribu kusema ya kwamba kitu ambao kena alifanya ni kitu kubwa sana tunaheshimu kwa hiyo period nyamekuwa kwa entertainment na amefanya vitu hiyo tulazima vishwe maua ka angali hai. Yeah. So mimi naweza kusema show ilikuwa kubwa. Show ambayo imefanywa na kijana kutoka is called a village boy. Yeah. Amefanya kitu kubwa sana in the city paka imetingiza ime imetingiza ime city. Mm -hmm. So tunasema siku zote eh, vijana wadogo ambao wanachipuka wafuate tu vile crazy kena anafanya na kujituma mm -hmm. na tunaomba vijana wajue kwamba wa who need kungojea ajira jitume tu we jitume fanya kitu crazy kena tu 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 si what crazy kena amefanya amejaza whole mzima amejaza ma celebrity wamekuwa kwa sababu gani anajua kuishi na watu anajua kukaa na watu so tunaonesha tunaonesha industry na grow tunaonesha industry inazidi kuwa kubwa na eh, big up crazy kena pole kwa kupoteza mtoto kama mzazi mimi najua na especially mzazi mdogo na akajikaza paka akafanya hiyo show mazee supportini crazy kena big oh, yeah. time yeah Uh, and apart from that Leona Jalango alikuwa pale kwenye show na tulipata kuzungumza na Emoza mbili tatu yes. na Jalango when do lisema MPs kazi yao ni kukaa pale Radisson Blue kukunywa chai and uh, when we ask uh, honorable Jalas alisema at first alikuwa anauliza hiyo kazi pool ni nani yeah. unajua indo kiasi kwamba kiburi ambao inashusha watu wakiwa juu mm -hmm. kwa sababu mimi nina uhakika kujua kwamba yeye Jalango ambao ni MP leo hii na ni mtu ambaye amekuwa kwenye radio ni mtu ambaye amekuwa kwa showbiz over 18 years over 18 years ana jina kubwa mtu mwenye amekawania kwa show kama Kaspul mimi jina langu imevuka Tanzania afanye research jina langu imevuka iko Kongo afanye research jina langu imevuka iko Uganda ni zarau sana kusikia kitu kutoka kwa jalanga anasema who is that who is that guy Aliuliza pia oh. ni lini ulikuwa MP ukajua hiyo ndio ni kazi yao. Niliona hiyo clip akisema yeye ufanya nini? Yeah, sure. You know yeye ufanya nini? Jalango mimi ni mwanabiashara. Mimi ni mzazi. Mimi ni kiongozi. Kwa nyumba yangu. Vile yeye ni kiongozi kwake na kwa constituency ambayo amechaguliwa. Yeah, sure. Mimi ni mwanaharikati ambao unafanya kazi juu na chini kila siku kuhakikisha kwamba jambo ambao wao wazingatii mimi nazingatia. Unapotea point? Yeah. Mimi kwa kesi nyingine naweza kuwa umbo ama takataka bila liongea. Lakini mimi nataka kumwambia jalango mimi sijai kuwa MP. Na sitawahi kuwa MP. Lakini kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu aliye hai. Kitu moja ninajua nitakuwa governor wa Nairobi. Na nitakuwa governor wake. Mm -hmm. Unapata? Yeah. Na ukitaka kujua na muombea mema kila siku na sitakuwa na dharau Mungu amweke maisha marefu ili apate kuona na macho. Nitakuwa governor, mm -hmm. atakuwa MP na nitamsupporta kwa MP second term langata. Ndio mm -hmm. sina ubaya. Na nikimaliza hiyo u governor nitamwachia nikikuwa president. Ndio nimuoneshe kwamba kuna saa wanaume tofauti yao ni Mungu amekubariki na kitu fulani. Himanishi wewe ni tofauti na wengine. Mungu akikubariki na kitu kidogo, himanishi kuna tofauti. Wanaume ni wote the same. Na usikuwe na kitu ambao unaweza kuwa na dharau 
ya kusema who is Kasipul for heaven's sake the president of this country anajua Kasipul ni nani William Samoe Ruto who is Jalango kutokunijua mimi I mean kama sio zarao unapatia point so mimi ninamwambia Jalango ulisema ni mai kuwa MP sitaki kuwa MP sitaki kuwa MP lakini be rest assured kwa mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu nitakuwa governor Vitu nya mimi ufanya hii town, mimi usaidia wasanii. Mimi ufanya biashara, mimi ni mwanarekati, mimi ni baba, mimi ni bwana, mimi ni mtoto wa mtu. Kama hiyo naataka kujua. Na nikimalizia labda saa zingine sijui vitu zingine kuhusu ubunge. Lakini kuna vitu tatu ambazo mimi nazijua. Ya kwamba mbunge anawakilisha vitu ngapi? Legislation, oversight. Unapata hiyo point? Yeah. Legislation, oversight, mm -hmm. na representation. I am 100% sure langata constituency iko na wasani ambao wanachipuka. Ambao wanataka kukua watu. Ambao wanataka kukua mastar. Lakini hawajapati yona fasi kwa sababu gani? Kwa sababu kuna watu ambao ametoka inje wa mwakanyagia. Na hao watu wanachukua hela wanaenda wanakanyagia na wanaitukuzwa na wanapigiwa makofi na wao wanabaki hapo. Mimi Kasipul kitu nyenye niliongea nilisema ya kwamba Kenya Young Parliamentarians muko na jukumu ya kujua kwamba nyinyi kama wajumbe ambao mnajua shida including Jalango ambao amekuwa kwa industry kwa muda mrefu ya kwamba wasanii wa Kenya wameumia wamedhalilishwa anafaa kujua kwamba Kasipul alikuwa anasema kitu ukweli ya kwamba ni wajibu yake kama legislator kutunga sheria kwa bunge kwenda kuhakikisha wamekaa na bill wameipeleka pale imediskasiwa wamehakikisha wame win hiyo bill wameipeleka kwa president ameweka kidole hata basi watufanyie tu jambo rais kidogo wa come up watunge hiyo bill waipeleke pale waipitishe wapeleke president waseme president amekata kusign sisi kama chama rais tunaanambia president sign na zandani zinasema president anataka kusign ya kwamba wasanii waponye waponeke wapate 85% but mkono zake zimefungwa president sio kama kitambo ile nyalikonga anaweza kuamuka aseme ya kwamba 85% chezo no kuna katiba ambayo imetunga inchi na katiba inasema kwamba lazima vitu zipitishwe kwa bunge wao wanarudi wanabadilisha maneno wanasema kwamba ni abcd tungeni sheria pelekeni president tuseme president william samoi ruto amekataa kusign lakini wewe mbunge unatoka kwa nyumba yako unaendesha gari unaenda kwa event unaenda wasema unaenda ku support una support crazy kanana nini crazy kanana anaweza kujaza ka ISC tenza anaweza kujaza ka ISC lakini how sure are they wana sustain kama hakuna mazingira mzuri kesho tunataka kujaza stadium kama hakuna mazingira ndio mwisho it is too early to celebrate kupiga makofi na kufurahia kuruka juu oh fulani amefanya hivi oh fulani nonsense Wanajira wanajaza stadium comedian mmoja. Wanajaza stadium msanii mmoja bana boy. Na watu waongelee. Sasa wewe umeenda kufanya nini kwa crazy kenya? Nenda fika pale sema kwamba mimi kama mbunge nilisikia Kasipula ameongea. Angekuwa mtu wa hekima sema tumemsikia huyu Kasipula akiongea. Sisi kama Kenya Young Parliamentarians tunataka kukaa chini tuangalie maneno yanayo amesema tumuita tuelezee ni vipi tutasaidiana and then tuone vile tunaenda. Lakini waweza Kasipula nani? Na jina yako imefika boda. Hispania Kasipula amevuka ameingia Dodoma Dar es Salaam ndio ameingia Goma anapiga kona ndio anaingia Burundi ndio hiyo Kasipula anaingia Rwanda aku Uganda wewe unauliza Kasipula mtoto wa mama Lilia so naanza kuambia kitu moja it is high time and i repeat and i'm giving Kenya young parliamentarian juzi leo nasoro pia naongea upumbavu na ameenda kwa Terence yeye alienda kufanya nini kwa Terence alienda tu kuona Terence wacheza naye hapo hivyo This is the most painful thing that anasema wewe Kasipul uliona wabunge wa gani wameketi pale wakiongea. Mimi nitakukumbusha walikuwa early this year walikuwa Radisson Blue. Kwa kitu inaitwa Kenya Young Parliamentarians. Bado alisemwa tajina. Wote walikuwa. Early this year. Go and confirm na CEO wa Kenya Young Parliamentarians. Mm -hmm. Waulize wako kwa early this year wako pale Radisson Blue. Mimi naingia napata vijana wa mkono wanaanza nini ah vijana wa koko. Nikaenda kusalimia mbunge mmoja pale na ya kusisitiza kushangaza. Nilipata wana watch nudes. Tatu sem. Kasipulo, kasipulo ni mbaya. Wana watch. So nenda kamwambie Jalango 
nimesema kasipul ya kwamba yeye na wenzake ambao ni wakina eh, babu wino mheshimiwa kibagendi mheshimiwa soro mheshimiwa zair janta mheshimiwa kiborek mheshimiwa jafet kundi wao walikuwa wasanii tunawajua na amesema na narudia ya kwamba sai anaonekana mpumbavu kwa kusema hii maneno 2027 watapiga simu yangu sana na sitachukua na hiyo ndo siku nitachochea watu wa kwenye hizo viti because the constituency kila mtu ana represent pale kwa bunge wote wako na wasanii inaanza kama mchezo wanakaa hao huyo acha aonge tu revolution inaanza hivyo na tutawatoa kwa hizo viti zao Mungu akipenda aha kasipul tukimalizia tumeona mwenzetu salasi ya pit up ako kule Rwanda na anasema wako stranded mara naongelelea allowance maybe kama unaza ndani si utupe mimi naweza kusema kwamba that is total nonsense nimesikia akiongea akiwa Rwanda sitting MP anaongea akiwa Rwanda ya kwamba hajapewa pa DM na anaongea kuhusu president anaongea kuhusu government anaongea kusema president a take charge take charge of what kwa upumbavu nyi ametoka wanaenda kufanya sport is it ni, ni, ni lazima wafanye sport wanaenda wanaenda kufanya nini huko in the first place Rwanda wanaenda kufanya representation huko wanaenda kutengeneza nini wa sheria huko wanaenda kufanya inetongaje kufanya oversight huko ama wanaenda kufanya wanaenda kufanya nini wanaenda kufanya representation huko there is nothing special about kwenda kukimbia huko na kucheza games we know very well hizi games ni hawa watu wanaenda huko ndani ni kwamba wanapata visa za kwenda kukaa huko na ma girlfriends zao it is a waste of time and resources and i want to urge the president kama kuna uwezo wa kufungia hawa wabunge especially kenya young parliamentarians wafungie kabisa wakae wafanye kazi ambao ni muhimu uwezi kutoka kenya sasa hivi unaenda huko na watu wanakufa njaa unasema unataka kupewa pa dia mazu huu wewe unapata mshahara wa 1 million kama unaenda kucheza mchezo wako na kupeleka girlfriend wako huko nje chukua kutoka kwa mfuko wako so it is high time salasia na mwambia yeye ni nani anauliza president nini anataka kuambia nini president akisafiri anaenda kutafuta pesa bila wakenya atasaidika wewe salasia unaenda kucheza mpira na tunajua vizuri sana uko na girlfriend wako huko unataka kutupea pressure ya upumbavu hizo wachana na hizo pressure all these uh, parliamentarians wenye ni Kenya young parliamentarians they are wasting resources ya serikali ya kusema wanaenda kucheza mpira wanacheza mpira nini sikukuja support mpira hapa sikukuja support sports hapa kwa constitution yako unacheza nini kazi ya mbunge ni legislation kazi ya mbunge ni representation kazi ya mbunge ni oversight hiyo pumbavu ya kwenda kucheza ma sport mkipiga ma selfie mkisema shusha nyavu mkicheka cheka mkicheza na waganda huko mkicheza na watanzania mkicheza huko mkiliita ma girlfriends wenu hiyo pumbavu itaisha mr president i beseech you wachana kupea hawa watu pa dm they are very useless uh, kasipuli kama una machungu sana na hawa ma mp zebu aongeleshe tukimalizia mimi nimewatokea nje nafanya kazi yenu na sitakoma kufanya kazi yenu lazima wakati mnalia kuhusu pa DM mm -hmm. kumbuka kuna watoto wetu ambao ni wasanii wameumia kwa sababu wamekosa kupata e, nini level mzuri ya usanii kwa sababu wasanii wa nje wamekuja wamecheka hii nchi come back wacheni kucheza mchezo kujeni mpitishe bill ya kusaidia vijana na rasi hivyo kuanzia januari tunaanza campaign 2027 munaenda wote nyumbani na i swear mimi kasipul ndatumia mm -mm. mm -mm. mm. thank you so much for your time guys that has been one on one with kasipul till next time bye bye